Do you have a disorganized space that needs to get done, but you either don't have the time to do it or that space is just too overwhelming? Well, today I'm going to show you how to take a big job like this and divide it up to be more manageable so that you can finally get that job done. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Michelle and on my channel, I teach about reclaiming peace in your home by building routines. So today I'm breaking up this job in our garage, but this can be used in any disorganized area in your home. In fact, if you remember, I did this a couple of months ago in my closet. I'll go ahead and link that video above if you haven't seen it, or you can also see it down in my description box. So the way that I'm going to do this is that I'm going to break this up into four days. I have a busy week here and I can only dedicate chunks of time to this project. So I want to be very strategic with that time by dividing up the tasks. So the first task that I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to gather all the trash and the items that I want to donate. The trash cans need to go out tonight, so this is the best place for me to start. All right, so let's talk about the state of the garage and how it got like this in the first place. Okay, so a few months ago, I moved boxes out of my husband's office because I had big plans to do a makeover in there and make it a real office instead of just that pop-up office that 2020 forced us into. So how many of you or your loved ones are still working from home three years later? <laughs> okay, so my plan was to start the project right after the holidays, but then suddenly my husband's office was asking their employees to come back in um, one or two times a week. So we assumed that this was their way of conditioning employees to come back to work in the building. So we were going to go ahead and hold off on the makeover. Well, now we're almost five months into the year and things are back to um, the majority of the employees are working from home again but it still feels like any minute they're gonna call everybody back. So long story short, my husband is a computer engineer. Where he goes, his work equipment goes with him. So if he's gonna be called back into the office, then we would like to go ahead and use that um, space for something else other than an office. So I'm going to go ahead and have my husband move his boxes back into the office. Um, I have a couple of boxes out here that I want to go through, um, take the trash out that I no longer need, donate the things I no longer need, and then um, put into one box the things that I do want to keep. Like this box right here, all that is um, stuff that goes into my photography studio. So I'm going to go ahead and take that in because I've been selling a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace from my photography studio. So that's one of the things that needs to go in the house so that I can um, take photos of it and get it up on Facebook Marketplace. Okay friends, now we're on day two. I've already gotten the trash cans taken out to the curb. And what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be um, dividing up the things into different piles. So I've got a pile that I'm gonna take into the house. I need to set a pile that's gonna go up into the attic or up into these rafters back here. As you can see them back there. 
put them up there. I have a pile that I'm going to be sticking right over here. That is going to be big bulk items. Um, at the end of the month, um, the community is going to have a big bulk item pickup. So I want to put all my big bulk items there so that I can get them to the curb um, on that day. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be subdividing up all these things um, to put where it needs to go. All right, let's get busy. So when my husband and I built this home, we did so with the intention of downsizing. Our previous home was much larger to accommodate the kids that we had living with us, and we also had a couple of grandkids living with us. So now we have a much smaller space. We do have a casita that's built onto the front of the house, so my mother-in-law also needs some extra space um, to store things. So this garage has these hanging racks up there um, that has a lot of things on it. Um, the one that you see there is all the stuff for Christmas and um, different holidays. There's also two racks just like that that are above the garage doors, which I don't think that you ever see, but it's also got a lot of things on it. So since we've moved into this home, I've been very intentional with the organizers that I have out here in this garage. Now I'm going to be taking you around to show you the best ones that we've been loving. And I'm also going to show you two new ones that we will be installing here in just a few minutes. I'm also going to talk to you about a fantastic tip that I heard from Martha Stewart way back in the day when I was a young mom. I've never forgotten this tip and I'm going to share that with you here today. Okay, so today's day three, and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna start pulling some of these larger pieces out. I'm gonna put them out into the driveway, and then I'm gonna start working on those shelves. And also, once I get these larger items out, I'm gonna move the boxes that are in front of the shelves. Those are some of the boxes that needs to go into my husband's office. So I'm just gonna move those over um, next to the jet ski, and then when my husband comes out of his office, he can come and take these back into his office um, for me. They're far too heavy for me to pick up. So I need to get everything out from in front of the shelf so that way I can clean it off. So that shelf right there holds all of my planting stuff. I've got my dirt, I've got my tools, I've got my gloves. Um, my pots, all that is on that shelf. And then right above, you can see that that's where I keep all of my wreaths. My husband's gonna have to um, put a couple more nails in the wall so that way I can hang a couple more of these wreaths. But that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this shelf cleaned off so that way I can get everything reorganized under here. Don't need these, so go to Goodwill. These pots here that don't have drainage holes, I'm going to go ahead and give these to Goodwill.
Okay, so it's going to make sense to get this up off the ground and find room for it up on these shelves. So I might have to move around the um, potting soil bags and then maybe I can stick it right next to that black container there. I need to pour out this dirt, but I want to pull out these rocks first. Find a place to put these, because I'm sure I'll need them for something else. So let me just set them to the side. And I need to find a spot that I can pour this dirt. We're having our trash cans um, professionally cleaned. We get that done like every three months, they come out and steam them get them really clean so I don't want to pour this in there um, because they're going to be coming so I need to figure out where to put this stuff here this is a good idea we just put it in one of these garden bags because that's what these things are for anyways it'll stay open so I can lift it this this plastic container and I'm going to put extra parts to our pergola in it. They sent us some extra parts because something was missing. No, actually they sent it because this one was broken right here. This one was broken so they sent us um, a whole packet of extra parts. So I'm going to save these just in case we need them. And then I'm also going to save these because this goes to my um, vine cage that I have in the courtyard. If I want to make it taller, I can. Or if I need an extra part for something, then I have it. So, I will put those, these right here over on the shelf as well. Actually, I'm not sure why we have this big can um, when my husband's getting rid of a lot of other cans. I'll put it here so he can tell me if he wants it, but I have a whole other stack of cans that he is getting rid of.
Yeah, see, these right here are the gas cans that I was talking about. So I need to see if Michael wants that other large one. Okay, so I'm going to head out. I've got to um, drop more things at Goodwill. And then uh, Michael is going to be busy working on um, these containers, putting them where they need to go in the house. Then I'm going to come back and we'll continue working on the garage. Okay, so now we're going to work on the tool shelf. Now, this shelf is the bane to my existence, or let's say the bane to my marriage. And I'm not kidding. If anything is going to get Michael and I in an argument, it is this shelf. And in just a little bit, you're going to hear a conversation between Michael and I about the differences in our organization style. And this right here is the reason why we're having the conversation. I myself do not like to get into other people's things and organize it, especially when it's something like this, that I have no idea what these things are or where they belong. So this really gets my goat, to be honest with you. I've added a lot of storage in here um, so that it can help us. Like this right here is all of our paints, um, spray paints, um, anything that we're gonna use for the walls, spackle, spackling knives, all that stuff. The other one um, under there is like our cords, um, pumps, things like that. So that just makes it easier. Just, um, you know, put them in those containers so we know where they're at. Then the next shelf is where we keep like our blowers, um, um, Ryobi stuff, like that kind of stuff on that shelf. And then the top shelf is our tools. Now, um, I have added some other things um, to this shelf so that way it can make it easier um, to keep everything organized. And then I'm also gonna be adding one more thing that will help it even further. Let me further clarify that this mess is not all Michael's doing. Some of this stuff was given to Michael and he just didn't know where to put it, so he just stuck it on the shelf. Um, so I'm helping him to get it into the proper places. Michael is a perfectionist, and if you know anything about perfectionists, sometimes it's very difficult for them to um, come up with an idea of how to organize things. Because in their mind, if it's not perfect, then it's not done right. So I'm really working with Michael on that, that it's okay that those things are down in the bucket like that. It's okay that not everything is completely organized in that bucket. Um, he is getting better with that. So. Again, this is not because Michael is a mess. He's not a mess. He's actually a perfectionist. Um, he likes things a certain way. But when you have, you know, a lot of things like this in a small place to put it, sometimes it's just easier to use those types of buckets and things like that. So, all right, let's keep going. I'm getting back into this bucket to remove the things that we need because uh, Michael has reminded me that these PVC pipe things um, were left here when the pool was built. So we don't need these things. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those things away. But I am taking out the things that um, I know that we do need. Okay, friends, now it's day four. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna move out all the larger things out of the garage. So the jet ski's gonna go out, the um, trash cans are gonna go out. I'm also gonna pull out all of the yard tools, like the rake, the um, shovels, clippers, things like that. I wanna get those washed up because my husband and I are gonna be hanging a track on the wall. And um, I want all those things to be clean before I hang them up on the wall. So my goal is to get all this cleared out get everything swept out, um, blown out, um, washed out, 
so that way when I bring things back in, everything's nice and clean. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is my final day. So since it's a final day, I'm gonna go ahead and move out the jet ski. We need to be able to get um, up to the attic and that's right above the jet ski. I also wanna clear out the, um, or blow out the garage, um, sweep out whatever needs to be swept, get some cobwebs down, all that stuff. I want it to be nice and clean before we start bringing everything back in. Some of that that I just did doesn't make any sense because in order for my husband to pull out the jet ski I've got to swap the cars <laughs> so I need to move the trash cans over so that way we can get the jet ski out I don't know what I was thinking In this bag right here, I have extra car seat covers. The reason that I have these is in 2020, I was in a car accident. Um, the two car seats that I had in the car were brand new. So the insurance company um, replaced the car seats and they allowed me to keep the car seat covers from the two that I had in the car. So um, I like to have these so that way if I need a replacement, um, I already have um, some clean car seat covers in that bag to replace the dirty ones in the car. You can tell by the lighting change and also because the bag's blowing around, the flowers are blowing around, that um, it's getting kind of stormy outside. Um, and in fact, it did storm this day. Now, when I woke up in the morning, it was very, very cold. That's why I'm wearing the jeans. But by the end, I'm a sweaty Betty because it's terribly hot out here. And then the storm comes. Um, the storm was so bad that I ended up having to move my backyard furniture that's around the pool. I had to move it up underneath the patio because I'm always afraid that it's going to, um, the wind's going to get so bad that it's going to blow the patio furniture into the glass doors. So I had to move all that stuff. But anyways, everything was good. Nothing got blown around. Um, everything went fine, but that's why you're going to see all the lighting changes. We have a couple of containers up against the wall over there that's holding products that needs to be properly disposed of. We've had a hard time finding a place that would take these products. We finally found a place, um, but we can only go to them once a month. It's one day a month. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those things out, but then I'm going to um, have to you know, put them back in here until I can get them to that place.
Okay, so while Michael continues to work in the garage, I'm going to head out to the side of the house and I'm going to wash off all the tools. He was nice enough to move everything out there for me, so I'm just going to go out there and just get everything washed off. I do end up moving these tools over to the other side on the wall. I'm just going to clean this side, I'll move them over there, and then um, clean the other side. It doesn't make any sense to clean it in the mud. Anyways, alright, so let me tell you about that good um, tip that Martha Stewart gave. Okay, so she gave it. I was um, probably in my early 20s when I heard it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. So I am going to be doing this once the big bulk items are moved out of the garage. I'm going to do this. Okay, she took a metal trash can. The You know, back in the day, there were just those metal ones with the top. She filled it um, about a fourth of the way, maybe a third of the way full of play sand, and then she put oil in it. Um, now, I read that it's two cups for every five pounds of play sand. You use cooking oil. Put it in it, and then anytime you use your tool, take it in there and stab it into that sand, and the sand will clean off your tool, and the oil will help to um, clean it off, and it also helps to condition it so that it doesn't rust. I always thought this was a great idea. So I'm going to take one of those um, five-gallon buckets, and I'm going to fill that full with play sand and put the oil in it. And I'm just going to keep it right here, um, so that way when we um, use the tools, we just come in and stab it, and then I don't have all this dirty tools um, hanging out in my um, garage. But anyways, I am going to show you um, something that we bought to hang on the wall to hang up all these tools. Okay, so this track right here is very similar to the one that I have hanging on the other side of the wall that's holding all of the chairs. Um, we love that system over there, so I got one for over on this side, except for this one holds tools. Um, this one has long um, pegs and it also has short pegs. So I went ahead and um, just purchased one set. It comes with three long pegs, three short pegs, and then the two tracks. Um, like I said, we absolutely love this system, and you'll see why here in just a second. We're working better as a team today, don't you think? I think we do better at projects than we organizing. Well, organizing is not my... I think I'm going to need... For organizing, I'm going to need a map or, or some... I, I can't do the organizing. I, I mean, I could try, but... But that's not my, that is not my, that's not my strength. That's my weakness. And I can try to strengthen it, come up, read about how you improve that <laughs> you skill. Get, you get a wife who is good at yeah, it. Yeah, or my wife just gives me a list. Here, <laughs> do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. That's why even around the house, organizing is like, go clean this. And clean. Just look around and see what's like. <laughs> Look around like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad that I caught that conversation on camera. It really is so relatable, and that's what I let him know um, because I asked him if I can um, post it. He was reluctant at first, and I told him, hey, a lot of women go through this um, with their husbands, that their husbands are just really not that good at organizing. So um, it is very relatable. Um, let me know down in the comment box, do you have a husband or a son um, that organization's just not their thing, that they can keep things organized, they just have a hard time getting things organized. Anyways, um, bless his heart, he tries so hard, as you can see. He says, I read books on it, 
everything. He, he really does. He's, he's a sweetheart of a guy. Okay, so now we get to do the fun part and um, organize all these things on here. There's so many different configurations that you can do. So we just move things around until it feels good and feels right. But I'll tell you what does feel good is getting this stuff up off the ground. That is the key to organization in your garage is if you can get it up off the ground, all the better. Trust me off the ground use that vertical space use that real estate on the walls and up in the ceiling the best that you can makes all the difference in the world on the wall. Hmm. <laughs> Show the camera your numbers. Get it? <laughs> yep. All right. All right, so now we're hanging up another organizational system. This right here is a magnetic strip. Let me tell you why I'm using it. A lot of times we get into that toolbox and we're pulling out things that we need for in the house and then we just leave it there on the um, on the shelf. So in order to not do that, we're going to use this um, magnet system. It's right here by the door. We just reach out, grab the hammer, screwdriver, whatever we need, and then it's just easy to put right back. So this is a great little item to have in your garage by, by the um, door. Or I've also seen people hang knives in their kitchen um, on this thing. So I really like having this. It's just right here. Now I can just reach in there and get what I need. And I'm not digging through that um, toolbox to try to get, you know, something that I need. And the magnet really grips onto these tools nice and tight. So there's no worry that these things are going to fall down. Okay, so now I'm going to show you around the garage. And I'm going to show you other organizational things that we have put in this garage over the years. This wall shelf I got off of Amazon and it holds all of our handheld power tools. This helps to get everything up off of that shelf that's on the ground and up here onto the wall. And then over here on the ceiling, um, we bought this. It's a pulley system and it pulls the bike right up there, gets it up off the ground. Right here is those other two sets of, um, of tracks that we hang our chairs on. We still have a bunch of chairs over at my daughter's house that I need to pick up and put back on the, on the um, rack. And then over here is where we um, put our ladders. We have these hooks that we keep them on. Um, they're low enough that we can reach them, but they're not down on the ground, so they're not taking up space. This is what they look like. Um, we do have them um, drilled into the studs so we don't have to worry about them falling. And these right here are game changer if you have to park in the garage because these right here will tell you when you need to stop when you're getting too close to the wall or whatever. Really love these things. Okay, so Michael's going to finish up. He's um, just putting some extra things up at the um, top on these racks. Like I said, I've got three of these. Um, and I will link these and all of the other products um, that I showed you in the description box. And I also have them in my Amazon store. So I'm just showing you around, showing you how clean everything is. This stuff right here is the stuff that's going to be going into the bulk items. So I'm just going to keep them right here. And then we have the chemicals that's going to be going out. So those other containers will be out. But look how nice the tools look up there. I love that we got them up off the floor. I will be putting that um, bucket with the sand um, in here once I get that other stuff out. But um, other than the garage floor looking a little dumpy, um, I think everything else looks good. Eventually, my husband and I will coat the garage floor, um, but 
today's not the day. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and pull the jet ski back in and then we're all done in here. I'm so pleased with how everything turned out. If you like this video, would you please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get reminded every time I post a new video. Now YouTube has been watching you and they are going to suggest this video for you to go see next. I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.